For a relatively small country, Denmark offers a delightful mix of things to see and do. Possibilities range from exploring the shops and culture of city life to touring old castles and visiting the small towns and offshore islands. While tourists sometimes fail to venture beyond the capital city of Copenhagen, the country also has lovely rural areas with interesting towns and sites. Visitors will definitely want to take some time to explore the capital, but those with more than just a day or two should also head out to other areas. Find your next favorite place to visit with our video of the top attractions in Denmark. 1. Amalienborg Palace Museum In the Frederikstaden quarter of Copenhagen, you'll find Amalienborg Palace Museum and its tranquil gardens by the water. Originally built as residences for the nobility, the four palaces face the square. The Danish royal family took occupancy after a fire at Christiansborg in 1794, and the palace remains their winter home. The identical palaces form an octagon, and it's claimed the design is based on plans for a square in Paris that later became the Place de la Concorde. Built in a light Rococo style, the buildings combine both German and French stylistic elements. The soldiers of the Royal Guard, in their bearskins and blue uniforms, are a particular draw for visitors. 2. Tivoli Gardens When visiting Copenhagen, many visitors make a beeline for the iconic recreation space at Tivoli Gardens. Dating from 1843, Tivoli is the inspiration behind the world-famous Disney theme parks, and here, you'll find a huge range of attractions including a roller coaster, roundabouts, puppet theaters, restaurants, cafes, gardens, food pavilions, and even a Moorish-styled concert hall. Known across the world, Tivoli has appeared in numerous movies and is a true symbol of the city. At night, firework displays illuminate the sky, and in winter, the gardens are adorned with lights for the Christmas season. During the summer, you can catch free rock concerts on Friday nights. 3. Frederiksborg Palace The stunning Frederiksborg Palace was built by King Christian IV in the early 17th century and has hosted Denmark's Museum of National History since 1878. The museum's collections focus on artwork that illustrates the country's history and includes a robust assortment of painted portraits, photography, and prints. The museum also includes a tour of the castle's interior, where you can explore the rooms that once hosted royalty and nobles. The palace's exterior and grounds include highlights like the Neptune Fountain, a pair of round towers once occupied by the court scribe and sheriff, and a beautiful relief depicting the deities, Mars and Venus, which is located on the facade of the audience house. Tourists can also freely explore the various paths and gardens surrounding this Renaissance palace. 4. The Round Tower Well worth scaling for the excellent panoramic views, the Round Tower Rundetarn is 36 meters high and was built as an observatory in 1642. Here, you'll find a small collection connected with the famous Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe. However, the highlight for most is the viewing platform reached by a spiral ramp. A glass floor hovers 25 meters above the ground, and not only can you gaze out over the rooftops of Copenhagen City, but also peer down into the castle's core. A short walk through the surrounding old town takes you to Grabradertor, one of the city's most picturesque squares. 5. Christiansborg Palace On the tiny island of Slotsholmen in the center of Copenhagen, you'll find the Danish seat of government, Christiansborg Palace. It's home to the parliament, the prime minister's office, and the Supreme Court, and several wings are still used by the royal household. Among the most spectacular of the viewable areas are the royal reception rooms, decadently ornate spaces that are still used today for royal receptions and galas. If you like seeing what goes on behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly, head to the royal kitchen to get a glimpse of what it was like to prepare a banquet for hundreds of guests nearly a century ago. Along with getting a peek at some of the world's most pampered horses, you will see historic horse-drawn vehicles including the 1778 Queen Dowager Julianne Marie State Coach and the Golden State Coach, which was built in 1840 and is adorned with 24 karat gold. If you want to plunge deeper into history, you can explore the excavated ruins of the original castle, which are located beneath the palace. Since the palace is still in active use by the royal family, it's wise to check the opening hours to ensure you can visit the areas you're most interested in. Six. Kronborg Castle Kronborg Castle is not only the setting of Shakespeare's Hamlet, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
Consequently, it scores top billing on Helsinger's list of must-see sites. Even those with just a passing interest in the Bard will surely want to visit. This imposing structure is clearly visible as you approach it, so you can't really miss it. The present incarnation dates from 1640, although several other fortresses preceded it. Serving as a garrison for a century or more, the castle was renovated in 1924. In the south wing, you'll find the castle chapel, which survived a fire in 1629 and has a magnificent Renaissance interior with German wood carvings. The north wing contains the great ballroom or knight's hall, while exquisite tapestries are displayed in the west wing. 7. Nehavd. The star of countless images and postcards of the city, Nehavd New Harbor is a great place to stroll or grab a slice of Copenhagen cafe culture. Located to the rear of a Malienborg palace, this was once a disreputable stretch of Dockland, but has been given a new lease of life with its multicolored houses, restaurants, and tall ships, some of which are museums dotting the quayside. Nehan is now a particularly charming quarter and consequently a major Copenhagen attraction for tourists and locals alike. If you're feeling adventurous, you can catch a hydrofoil to Sweden from here or grab a pleasant harbor cruise to see the sights. 8. Orison Bridge Decades in the planning and often controversial, the Orison Bridge has quickly become a Scandinavian icon. The bridge is around 10 kilometers from Copenhagen, and you can either drive across or take the train. On the Danish side, it starts out as a tunnel so as not to interfere with flights to and from adjacent Copenhagen airport. This 8-kilometer structure opened in 1999 and now links the island of Zealand, Denmark's largest island and home to Copenhagen, to the southwest coast of Sweden, specifically to the port of Malmo, Sweden's third largest city. Fans of Scandinor will know that the Orson Bridge has recently gained much global infamy as the central focus of the smash hit Danish Swedish TV drama The Bridge. 9. Wadden Sea National Park Denmark's largest national park is also the world's largest continuous system of mudflats and intertidal sand, containing both salt and freshwater environments as well as beaches and wetlands. This beautiful natural area is among the top tourist attractions in Esbjerg. The Wadden Sea National Park sits at the midway point of the Eastern Atlantic migratory routes, making this an ideal place for bird watching. The waters just off Esbjerg Harbor are also home to the country's largest population of spotted seals, making this an ideal place for nature lovers. While in the area, history buffs will want to check out the Ride Viking Museum to see its collections of authentic artifacts and reconstructed settlements. Visitors can explore the Living History Museum to see what daily life was like for these fascinating peoples, with opportunities to participate in hands-on activities.